Hello everyone. Today in this video I will show how exactly you can generate email calls using Google AdWords without any risk of suspension. To begin, you need to have three things ready. And first of the first thing is an approved Google AdWords account. If you don't know how to create one, see my other video on the same YouTube channel Gyan Sutra. The second requirement is an IT support website with your desired toll-free number on it. Toll-free number has to play a major role in it, so make sure that you have a, a, a toll-free number. So for reference here we will be using oopsitexpert.info. You can open this website and check what sort of website it is. Now the third requirement is a toll-free number. Make sure that it has to be of the country that you are targeting. Suppose you are targeting USA, that you need to have a toll-free number of USA. And if you are targeting, uh, if your target country is UK, then make sure that you are using the toll-free number that belongs to UK. So let's begin. Here you can see this is my AdWords account. It is open, as, and you can see there are already two campaigns created in it. The first one is P1, and the second one is Router. The P1 is actually a print campaign, and the Router one uh, is a Router campaign. So let me enable them to make sure and make you guys see that they are actually running okay now let's open ads here you can see both the ads are approved that means other printer ad and even the router ad they both are approved let's go back to campaigns let me pause them so that like this ad should not run and i should not receive any visitors to my ad so, so to begin, let's click on Add Campaign and then click on Search Network Only. Once you are, uh, once you click on Search Network Only, you will see this page which says Search Network Only Standard. Now, on this, you have to click on the last option which says Call Only. Once you click on this, the page will reload, and now you can rename this campaign anything that you want to. So let me name this campaign as email call campaign. Now let me scroll down the window. Here you will see an option which says locations. Here you can choose your target country that you want to target for your ad. I would be choosing United States click on add then typing in Canada again click on add so basically I have selected two countries for my ad these are my two targeted countries the next option is bid strategy you will see it automatically selected as uh, automated clicks make sure you scroll down click on it and then select manual cpc now default bid put 300 in it and the budget should be 9500 rupees per day make sure you don't enter the budget more than this otherwise your campaign would be suspicious right now click on save and continue now we are on a page which says that we have to create an ad group so let's begin creating an ad group let me name this ad group as email support now now we will start creating the ad so the first thing is business name i will type in global email support you can write down anything that you want to it, it, you should not completely uh, copy my content right so you can uh, write down any any business name that uh, you can even I write down your business name okay now the second thing is phone number okay you will see an example thing written below the phone number box right so you have to type in your phone number or your toll-free number exactly similar to the example right that means Suppose my toll free number is 844-440-4430 so I would be typing it as similar to the example. Now we will start at, uh, typing add. So I would be typing here call helpline toll free number 2 
let's come to the second line because I don't have any other option to fix and reset email and password issues so now you can see I have utilized all the uh, all the memory which was given to me now you can see now you now let's come to the second option which says display URL you have to make sure that display URL and the verification URL they both have to be same so I will type down my website name here which is oops itexpert.info I will copy this and let me show this website to you Here you can see my website you can see it is a normal website which is an IT support website I have not mentioned anything related to email support or anything like that and moreover you have to make sure that this disclaimer should be there on your website otherwise your ad would not approve now let's make sure that call reporting option is on right and then come to the option which says select keywords now start typing in keywords um, like suppose we are creating the email support campaign so our first keyword would be email support now let's write down second keyword email helpline third keyword password helpline Fourth keyword is how to get my email back. The fifth keyword is how to reset email. The sixth keyword is how to reset password. So these are basically the same and standardized things that we search if we are looking for email or password related problems. Now you can see once we click on estimate search traffic you can see every cpc is that is cost per click is 141 to 172 rupees you can receive 64 uh, around 64 clicks per day right so now click on save ad group now we are on to this page which says email support this is our ad group page okay now let's scroll down Now you can see all the keywords have been added to the campaign and they all are eligible now let's go to ads you can see that this ad is under review so my ad is completely created and it is under review so google team would be reviewing my app welcome back everyone now you can see that this ad is approved it is the one which we created now let's go to keywords and add the remaining keywords that we want to now click on add keywords that is plus sign which we have in place of keyword let's confirm that if ad is approved you can see it that it is completely approved let's go to add keywords now you will get the keyword planner helping you right now by giving you sample keywords you just have to select your uh, desired sample keywords like i would be doing it right now all these keywords are actually good and they can get you good calls i would be adding them in bulk So let's go, let's scroll down. Basically, as many keywords as you uh, add, so you have an increased probability of getting much 
calls much more calls as compared to the, your competitor right so if there is someone else who is advertising the same ad and if he doesn't have these keywords added so you will have much more focus on the advertisement and much you will have much more focus on your audience that means some uh, you will get much much more visitors to your website so we, it is good if you add as many keywords as you can now it on customer service it is not relevant so i would not be adding it now these are our hotmail keywords now you can see i'm almost done adding the required keywords now let's click on estimate search traffic awesome now you can see your average cost per click is not more than 128 so let's save it now all the keywords that you have you have selected they have been added to your account your ad is approved so everything is good to go you just need to run this ad and you will start getting calls let's go back to ads once again to check if it is working fine now you can see everything is good so basically you are good to go and good luck for your future thank you so much